Start though with that police officer who did not shoot a gunman when some say that he could have easily pulled the trigger. RC Pickett live at the Grand Prairie Police Department where the police chief is praising his officers. Uh, and he says that yes, that officer could have fired his weapon, who had every right to do so based on the circumstance, but they wanted the public to see this video a shooting that could have happened but didn't. They are the visual examples of police decisions, officers firing on citizens, and in some cases, killing them. Grand Prairie Police Officer Jeff Payne made a choice as well. His department wants you to see that choice. Payne and other officers corner a driver who refused to stop. You can see that man take a gunman's stand, yet Officer Payne does not fire his gun. He lets his canine partner, Yurik, attack instead. It's the first time I've been that close to shooting somebody. The veteran police officer says he could have fired, but didn't. You know, I see him get out of the car, and my first thought was, I'm about to get shot. I'm looking at him, and my first, my eyes go straight to his hands. And to me, his hands looked empty. It didn't look like he had anything in his hands. Payne was partially correct. That suspect had a small flashlight, but no gun. What I want to highlight here is we get a lot of attention when we use lethal force. When we don't use lethal force when we could, let's give that the equal level of attention. Police Chief Steve Dye says he's confident his officer could have fired on the man who faced Officer Payne. What Officer Payne did was he applied that training. We're not always going to be perfect here at my department or any department, but when we, when we show that restraint and that high level of training to not have to take a life, that's important. Even though I would have been justified, it still would have weighed on my heart, you know, having to shot somebody that didn't have a weapon, even if I was justified in doing so. Uh, there were, as you saw in that video, at least two other officers on that scene. They're the ones yelling, he's got a gun, put a gun down. They did not fire either. They attribute all of this to the fast response of a canine. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.